I can explain everything. Explain what, dear heart? Didn't she... Don't you... Didn't she... Don't you what, kitten? Never mind. As you were. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. Without any further ado, may I present... The Star's Bite Collection. <laughs> ah! I want to buy the whole thing. How much? That's not fair. He can't buy the whole thing. Some of us want to purchase individual teeth. Too bad. I have a lot of money, and I want them all. Ladies and gentlemen, let's keep our wits about us. I'm certain we can reach an arrangement that benefits me exclusively. She's ruined the ambiance. Violet? Is that you? <laughs> we don't usually allow her to belch, or levitate above the room, or get possessed as she seems to be. What in the world is that thing? And how much do you want for it? I don't think it's for sale, is it, darling? Sure it is, Muffin. Sure it is. That thing is your daughter, Mr. Izumi. Is she having an asthma attack? This is the strangest party I have ever been to. Word to your mother. Can I have your attention, please? I am the evil spirit of Echidna. I now possess Violet. Hi, Echidna. 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 Hi. Now, I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here. Apparently, someone was tampering with the mysterious forces of the unknown, and the next thing I know, I'm trapped in the body of an overweight toddler. Not overweight. Just big bone. Whatever. Now. In order to exorcise my spirit, you'll need to contact the most powerful man in the universe. But how are we going to get Steven Spielberger on such short notice? Who says it's Spielberger? I think it's Pat Swoon. That man is unstoppable. I think she means Zeus. Zeus? Echidna was a dreaded monster from Greek mythology, with the upper body of a woman and lower body of a gruesome serpent. Since, as you joined us proved, power is subjective and our subject to the spirit of a mythical creature from fabled Greece, it stands to reason that from Echidna's point of view, Zeus is the most powerful man in the universe, Zeus being the king of all gods. <laughs> but. I could be wrong. Then I have to go back to that fabled time of Mount Olympus, when Greek gods did max and relax on the highest mountain in Greece. I suppose I'll be needing this. I suppose I'll be needing this too. Devil. Oh, I try to avoid mirrors at all costs. Never can tell when you'll need to say cheese.
Hey, the last missing page! So, he pulls his chariot right out, without looking, and he cuts me off in the middle of traffic. I'm the god of wine in altered states, and I'm telling you, if he wasn't... Sorry, Zeus, but I speak the truth. Hi, I'm Aphrodite, goddess of love. I'd like to have a word with Zeus. How do I reach him? You don't reach him, he reaches you. That's the way it goes when you're the king of the gods. That's Pegasus, the winged horse. My mother left as I arrived She would only be missed by me With a pair of snakes and a stony gaze Medusa, you finally free My father blessed with sons and daughters And of course stormy sea And it took me years to understand There were never any others like me When horses fly When dreamers sigh When wells run dry I can't help try Poseidon wonders why Medusa says goodbye Who wants to have a try And ride a horse that flies Athena captured Pegasus Or was the one and only horse with wings Men who would be heroes Would use me to accomplish great things And be careful when you bridle oh, greatness For it's always likely you'll get thrown Especially if you misuse greatness Or try to claim it I cry Poseidon wonders why Medusa said goodbye I've had my mother die Yet somehow still Yes. 
said goodbye I've had my mother die Yet somehow still Hey man, I'm Ares, God of War. And let me tell you, the family feud is just getting started. Between my, my temperamental dad Zeus, and my vengeful uncle Poseidon, and my stubborn half-sister Athena, by the time this family spat is worked out, there will be nothing left of Mount Olympus. Well, look who washed up. How's it going, Poseidon? Is there any news on a echidna? Not since Zeus swallowed Athena again! It is for the best. That ornery woman will bring trouble to all. Maybe I'm just being dense, but if Athena is responsible for Echidna's disappearance, how is she going to be able to help you from the pit of Zeus's stomach? Silence! Did you say Echidna? Yes, Echidna is my granddaughter. She has the head of a beautiful nymph, but the body of a serpent. Zeus spared her and her children's lives as challenges to future heroes. She is missing. Do you have any information on her? Uh, let's suppose that someone accidentally cast a spell that made her disappear. It would be just like Athena to do something like that. How could we reverse it? I suppose only Athena herself would know the answer. So, if I ask her nicely... <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Ah, uh, Poseidon, he is always storming off. He and Athena have been quarreling for years. He's too stubborn to ask her nicely for help. Well, I'm not. If I could just speak to Athena, I'm sure I could convince her. Good luck. As you heard before, Zeus swallowed her whole. Now she's stuck in his head. There must be some way I can attract Zeus's attention. I may be in hot water with Poseidon. This trident could come in handy. That smells divine. Do you have any idea how much easier that wonderful fragrance would make my job? Spray it on me, please. I'll let you have the whole bottle if you help me attract Zeus. You spray that on me, and Zeus will be here before you can say... Divinity? Whatever. Oh, Zeus. Something smells divine. The purest fume I ever did with. That's funny. For as good as it smells, the bottle says it's just water that came from a toilet. I don't have time for your games, Aphrodite. I've got a splitting headache over here. Maybe you ate something that didn't agree with you. Enough of the funny business, Dionysus. You're on my last nerve over here. Who are you? I am the god of headaches. Here to help you with your uh, headache. Get out of here. Are you serious? You can do that? Absolutely. I would have thought you'd learned your lesson, Daddy. Thank you, Pink God of Headaches. Not a problem. Wrong. She is a problem. She has done some sort of trickery with her cousin Echidna. I told you, I didn't do anything with that... that half-woman, half-serpent beast. 
then who is responsible for the disappearance? Which of you dare dabble in the field of fire and found yourself burned a fiery shade of pink? Was it you, god of headaches? It was all a terrible mishap. You see, there was this cauldron and a little boy in trouble, and a big hairy girl and some leftover Greek salad, and the next thing I knew, Echidna was stuck in Violet, and Violet is who knows where. You are responsible for the disappearance of Echidna? You, god of headaches? This is not good. Your fate will be decided by the completion of two really difficult, nearly impossible tasks. You must succeed in both to win your life. But, but... There are no buts on Mount Olympus. Doesn't that make sitting uncomfortable? Let the challenge begin. Uh, hold on, don't I get someone to help me train for this event? I suppose. Who is this? Apollo. Who else? How you doing? Uh, been better. Hey, we gotta get you into shape. Let us begin. The first task will be similar to a task my son Perseus was victorious in. You must slay the two remaining Gorgons. Perseus beheaded Medusa with the aid of Athena and Hermes. Now you must put the remaining two Gorgons out of commission, yet spill no blood. Capiche? But beware, for their gaze alone can turn you to stone. Bring proof of your victory, but do not slay them. Uh, how do I get there? Why don't you take Pegasus, the winged horse? It sprang forth from Medusa when her head was cut off by Perseus. I'm sure he remembers the way to the Gorgons. No sweat, I'll be back in a flash. Meanwhile, don't get your sheets in a bunch. Thanks for the ride, Pegasus! Duh, I am Uriel. Duh, I am Spino. We, we are, are the, the remaining Gorgons. Turn around, Turn around so, so we can, can see, see ya. Must not look at snakeheads. the Greek salad? Food, glorious food. Do you know what it's like living in this swamp? We can't even get a pizza delivered. <laughs> oh, I'm turning to stone. <laughs> That's what you get for being greedy. Let that be a lesson to all you kids out there. Goodness gracious! Why, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my entire nearly immortal existence! Must not look at snakeheads! Excuse me, uh, miss, I believe you have a little something stuck in your teeth. You might want to, uh... Why don't you take, to take a picture? It lasts longer. Say... Headache! Headache! Now 
Now this is called a photograph. Say it with me. Photograph. It captures the image of... Let me see that thing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's amazing, isn't it? So lifelike and... Well, let's see how you fare in the brains competition. I hope you've been brushing up on your Greek mythology. In this corner, weighing in at approximately 343 pounds, about half of which is water retention, is the mighty and vengeful Poseidon, god of the sea! In this corner, weighing in at... About 98 pounds. About 98 pounds is the pink swim or sink god of headaches! Thanks for your support. Answer the questions posed or die. Thanks, Dee. I'll take answer the question posed for a hundred. When Athena got word that Medusa I kissed in a temple dedicated to she, she turned Medusa's hair into frightful wicked scare by transforming her locks into these. So you're lucky this time, but I'll quickly remind. Answer four out of five, or you won't get out alive. Bring it on! It's you, baby! It's all you! When Athens was looking to choose its patron, the choice was Poseidon or me. So, gifts we did make, and the tie would soon break. Which gift was it that came from me? Right! Now, which gift was it that came from he? Though your answer was good, you're not yet out of these woods. You must answer one more to walk free out that door. As you may have well noted, many gods here have doted. And if wed still consorts were present, who fathered all these? The answer's a breeze. This son of Kronos fought in with a vengeance. Who fathered Hermes, Ares, Apollo, and me? Perseus, Dionysus, and the great Heracles. Right again! You fared quite well. I must admit you have exceeded my expectations. Take me to my granddaughter and all is forgot. I would be happy to. I'll take my chariot. Hello, everyone. This is Poseidon. Poseidon, this is everyone. What happened to Zeus? Well, Poseidon is Echidna's grandfather and... Echidna, get down here now! We don't usually allow her to belch, or levitate above the room, or get possessed as she seems to be. I won't tolerate another moment of this nonsense. Echidna, it's time to go home! Well, what are you going to do? What can I do? She won't listen! Bibby Fi, Feely Gook, Gleepy Glaucoma, Violet be Becky now, Nightmare be over! Duck! She's gonna blow! Zeus? Is that you? No! I know it's not Carl Sweathers. No, but good guess. Ah! Ah! Why are we screaming? Because he's scary. He's really scary. Enough! Ah! That was fun! Let's go home. I have a headache. Ah, well, he... Uh, why don't you take two aspirin and call me in the morning? Sure thing! 
Oh, terrible dream. Violet, let's go home now. Can we keep him? How much? Uh, it's on the house. Really? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! I thought if I had fancy teeth, people would want to hear me sing. But after all this craziness, I wouldn't touch those things. I think you have a splendid voice, Shaky. That means the world to me coming from you, Saltina. Uh, may I escort you home? Why, thank you. I would like that very much. Wait, what about the teeth? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! Don't be silly. I was never here for the teeth. I was here for the free food. Cheers! And I think I've learned something tonight. If none of these important rich people need these teeth to make them feel rich and important, then by golly, neither do I! Wait, what about the teeth? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! Ah, Himeki! I couldn't have hoped for a better ending. Now you will finally be complete! What are you going to do now, Himeki? I'm gonna run for mayor! Nathan Jr., you have done it this time. Do you hear me? You have done it. This is it for you, buddy. The last straw. This time, you're definitely going away to the Young Gums Academy. Do you hear me? I should have sent you years ago. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was be a magician. Now I failed at that, too. Now, now, Nathan, it's partially my fault. You see, I saw promise in you, and I wanted to challenge your skills. So I intervened a bit here and there, stuck my nose where it didn't belong. You did the best you could under the circumstances. Even with your help, I couldn't fix anything. I'm a failure. I know of one thing you did all by yourself that was a complete and total success. A real testimony to your skill as a sorcerer. What? The poison apple. It worked just like you wanted it to, and Strangeblood didn't help you with it at all. Hey, that's true! Nathan, how would you like to study with me? You could be my apprentice. I'll teach you everything I know about magic. What about my parents? I have a feeling they will agree. <laughs> Nathan. Good luck with the magic. Goodbye, strange blood. You're neither strange nor blood. Discuss amongst yourselves. It's all back in place. You know, when I took that job as a traveling salesman, I had no idea just how far I'd be traveling. I guess it doesn't matter much where I go. There's always going to be a fantastic adventure. So, let me ask you something. How did you make that poison apple? In due time, strange blood. In due time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>